we're in the Jaguar XF RS. This is the top of the XF range. Uh, it's a saloon, obviously. Uh, the sport brake only comes with a diesel engine. It's £80,000. It's got the 5 litre supercharged engine with 550 horsepower, 8 speed uh, ZF uh, automatic gearbox with paddles on the steering wheel, and um, sport mode, drive mode. It's rear wheel drive. It's big, it's spacious. The uh, cabin is filled with brilliant uh, materials. Every inch is leather or aluminium or Alcantara, which is here. And um, it's a pretty gorgeous place to uh, spend your time. You've got a Meridian stereo, you've got the integrated sat nav. Now, the rest of the XF range has a lot of these things. I drove an XF V6 recently which was uh, 50,000 pounds, so it's 30 grand cheaper. So what are you paying an extra 30,000 pounds for? Well, it's pretty much in the engine. So let's stick it in drive and pull away and I will show you. I'm on uh, normal roads today, on a B road in Worcestershire, in Malvern. And uh, the roads are pretty slippy, so traction control's on. 550 horsepower and rear wheel drive you um, you don't want to mess with this car it's a fantastic drive the steering is very precise typical Jaguar steering uh, it's nice and smooth the gearbox the ZF gearbox is quick to react it's in drive at the moment I'm stuck behind a Skoda we'll try and get past that in a minute uh, you stick it in sport mode and you can use the, the pedal shift in sport or in um, in drive it makes a glorious sound. It's not quite as, um, doesn't have quite the uh, the bangs and the farts and the pops that uh, the XKRS does, uh, or indeed the uh, the V6 F-Type S, which uh, whose um, engine is tuned to uh, make lots of different noises. But it's a meaty bellow. Let's uh, drop them stuff behind a cyclist and the Skoda. The cy let's get around the cyclist. Put it in sport, drop down a couple of gears, and you can hear the, the meaty bellow of the engine. It's a fantastic noise that it makes. But it's also pushes you in the back. It's an incredible amount of power this thing's got, right? The Skoda's turning off. Um, there's nowhere to overtake, really, because we're double white lines everywhere. It's in second gear, corner, the brakes are very strong, very progressive, very good brakes on this. It's an incredibly fun car to drive. It's big, it's spacious, it's a saloon. You know, the boot's huge. You can get lots of golf bats in the boot. But uh, it's also got that enormous amount of power. Very, very, very good handling. Um, the chassis is, is set up well. You don't feel like you're going to lose it around the corners. You've got lots of feedback from the, from the car itself, through your seat, through the steering and um, you could lose your license in this car very easily. It is so much fun. We're going around a, a long corner right now. Drop down a gear, put your foot down, you can hear it. You can hear how powerful the engine is. It's um, obviously tuned to um, to make the noise it does, but it's, it's supercharged rather than turbocharged. So Jaguar doesn't need to put quite so much uh, false engine noise in, it's not piped through into the cabin. It, it really does make that noise from the exhaust and from the engine, rather than uh, something like being WM5. But there's turbochargers, uh, which, which take away some of the noise in the car. So this is, it's a fantastic car. For your extra 30 grand over uh, an XF V6, um, basically you get an extra level of refinement, lots more power, and lots more fun. That's what you're paying for. The, the cabin materials are very similar. We're now behind a van. Uh, the uh, the look of the car from the outside is very similar. This one comes with this great big spoiler on the back. You also get the special paint jobs. Uh, you get the French racing blue. You get, I um, can't remember the color of it, red. This particular one's in satellite gray. I wouldn't spec it in gray. If I was gonna get an XFRS, I would buy one that, that stands out, it shouts out, you're paying a lot more money for the XFRS. So you might as well tell people, uh, because 
by every other uh, outward sign, it's it's a cue car. It doesn't look a, a huge, great different. The, the wheels are different. The 20 inch wheels are uh, different from the standard XF. But uh, for your 30 grand, you'll tell people you've spent that money. So yeah, this is a fantastic car. I absolutely love it.